everyone, and welcome to our second half of the episode today. We're going to be talking about the college football playoffs. Same crew is back at it again. As you may know, it is same shirts, same backgrounds. We're the same. Uh, Kieran Costa, Nate Martin, CJ Rulo, uh, and we have a fiery, I believe we have a fiery, that's the one thing I can predict. We have a fiery debate coming up about the rankings. Uh, right. So let's go ahead and show the rankings. This is how it stands right now. Top seven at this moment. Remember, technically Florida, technically Florida and Cincinnati are, are, are flipped, but that's uh, no, I, I guess, I guess technically Cincinnati's eight, Florida seven, Iowa State six. It's fun. It's close enough, man. Close All right. Enough. Let's, let's, let us go into the scenarios that are going to, that can unfold. So wait, wait, we before, have our, before, hold on, before you start on that, one second. Alabama has a 99% chance. Ohio State currently is playing. Uh, Northwestern for the Big Ten Championship, and Clemson and Notre Dame played today for the ACC Championship. Okay, go on, CJ. Yep. Just have to All right, first. so top four as we currently stand, Alabama, Notre Dame, Clemson, and Ohio State. Now, situations that can unfold. Unfortunately, we already do have a couple games going on right now, see Ohio State, Northwestern. Um, this is what can theoretically happen. If Notre Dame stomps Clemson hard enough, Clemson probably falls out of the top four. At that point, two losses, both to Notre Dame. Notre Dame's ACC championship, they're in. Ohio State wins. They go. They're um, going to be the Big Ten champion. Now, if Northwestern can beat Ohio State at this point, it's going to get a little interesting. Who do we put into that number four slot? Do we put in the winner? So, well, what's of, the scenario? so what's the scenario here? We have so the scenario have, at this. So the, the scenario is is Notre we're, Dame we're, beating Clemson in this scenario. No, that's the, we haven't decided that yet. We okay. haven't decided that yet. Okay, I'm just so, saying they have. Assuming they haven't played. So at this point, Ohio I, I State's like, off the table. Who do we put in there? Do you I put do in the like Big Twelve winner? Four right now. I think. I think. I. I think if, if the college football playoff committee looks at it, who's a better team. Of the best teams, and I think I think I'd put in a, a and M over. So you put in a and M, but here's the question though: Ohio um, winner of the Big Twelve, which is going on right now. Currently, Oklahoma is up. Oklahoma is tenth in the rankings, mm -hmm. and they're going and and so they so Ohio, Iowa State's going to drop. Oklahoma's going to rise. They will rise over a Georgia team that isn't playing this week, and a Florida team that's most likely going to lose. So do you put in? The Big 12 champion, Oklahoma, assuming the score holds. No. Okay. All right. Better than that. Better than that. Assuming at this point that Notre Dame and Clemson have a close game, then you can actually, then it's basically going to be two ACCs and then Alabama then, and AM. Then, no, Alabama you, and okay. Two, here's two, the question. SEC, okay. No, no. All right, well, okay, okay. Wait, first of all, before we move on, I think number one is locked no matter what. Yeah, number one is – okay, yeah, basically, is Alabama fair. is think... going even if they lose. They've won 10 games. It doesn't matter. They're going. Yeah, okay, so I'm just That's a lot. That. It's basically the next couple where it gets fun. Because right. if Clemson beats Notre Dame, how are you not going to take Notre Dame? Notre Dame went 11-1, and yeah. and their only loss was to Clemson. And mm -hmm. they beat Clemson previously. I agree. If Clemson loses, they're they're out. There's no way. So That's Notre Dame's a lock no matter what happens. Win or lose, Notre no, Dame's Notre a lock Dame is not a lock. Notre Dame. Here's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> this is where it gets fun. If Clemson stomps Notre Dame by enough, like like a, what, like thirty. Like, imagine it was like forty-five to like ten. Okay. So a thirty-five point stomp. Do you really take Notre Dame? Yes, they did beat Clemson, but was Cle but Clemson wasn't even at full strength that week, and it was a yeah. double overtime. Okay, so if, so in that scenario, I'm taking I'm saying that Alabama goes one, Clemson two, and then probably A and M, then probably A and M three. I, I still who's put I, who's I, I still put in though. I still put in Notre Dame because they're obviously a better team than Northwestern. So you're, you would put Notre Dame over a. Cincinnati team that's nine and zero, or better Cincinnati than that. Cincinnati team that has played no power yes. five schools, basically. Or Coastal Carolina, who's eleven and zero. Coastal uh, Carolina no, actually Coastal Carolina. has an outside <laughs> shot, dude. They're eleven think, and zero. They're I eleven Coastal, and zero. They are better than Cincinnati. They are eleven and zero and better than Carolina. Than they they right now on the air, you think the college football committee is going to pick Coastal yeah. Carolina? They have beaten. Be to they have play beaten on New one, Year's They have beaten on, a ranked ABC, team in BYU. That, BYU. Here's okay. the thing. I will say I will say it right now. Coastal Carolina has a shot to be the number four seed. Don't, don't they have their their game canceled though this week? Yes, but they're, but, they're, but, but they're still eleven and zero, and they've beaten a ranked team, who is still ranked. BYU. Listen, I'm I'm first of all I'm with you, and Kieran, as you can tell, is 
is, is, has a great point. The committee should stop it's, this nonsense. There's the under, there, are two, there are multiple the undefeated teams. I don't know why they're not in. Well, this is the, this is the it's, what it's, happens. This isn't the what's going to happen. Most likely, DJ, we know what's DJ, going to happen. DJ, Texas A&M's strength for schedule is so much. Like, it's always one of the top five strength for schedules in the country, A&M. It always is the way no, they're. No, listen, they're listen, listen, Nick, Nick, Nick. And, I'm not saying DJ, that you're wrong. I'm just saying this is what could happen. Okay. It's not what's going to happen. We know what's going to happen. It's okay, going to be so this is, not, this is not this is, Ohio this, State, Clemson. and then the winner of the ACC, and then a fourth team, which is probably going to be Clemson or I, Notre Dame. It doesn't really matter. So, so, so by, by the way, not, sorry, just one one quick quick note. Texas A&M right now is up 34-13 with a minute remaining. So they're basically they've basically won. They have locked in a five spot. We know that. Yeah. At this no, point, but I don't think they have. I, I don't think they've necessarily locked in a five spot. I think if Notre Dame beats Clemson, they've they're going up to four. But that's also counting on Ohio State beating, um, beating Cincinnati. Like if uh, Ohio whoa, State. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You mean beating Northwestern? Yes. They yes. Can't play, they're yeah. not playing Cincinnati. <laughs> I'd love to see that. <laughs> I would love to awesome. see Cincinnati into the Big Ten. Trust me, that'd be freaking awesome. Ooh, there we go, right there. But um, I, I think <laughs> there's there's only there's only really five teams in contention for me, and those are the top five teams right now. I, I agree with you. I agree. I, I was saying I think, there the, the scenario. There were more scenarios. We're, okay, we're, there's always going to be a ton of scenarios. Yeah, which are fun. Come on, dude. You're like you're like. A, oh, yeah, I know, I know, doesn't I, I, have a hey, chance. Man. Hey, man. This, this I man. Love, I'm sorry. This man yesterday told me USC had a chance. Like, I, I love me some. Oh I love me some scenarios. I love me some. Scenarios. I'll, I'll, I'll just say I think scenario. Yeah, I'm. I'm <laughs> scenarios are great, but it's the committee we're talking. It's about. the committee. Thank you, the committee. committee. This is, a team, this is a committee that's known to put in two two teams from the same conference in the playoffs. I was a contract. Coastal Carolina is not going to play January first on ABC because that's not going to make them money. Maybe they play. Sure. Maybe they play on in, a, in, a, in like in one of those like you know how they always give like a non power. Maybe they get a. Yeah. Maybe I'll they tell you one thing. One thing I playoffs, do want to see though, I, I don't know if it's possible, but how about Cincinnati and Coastal Carolina? Those are the two teams that are like in the bubble. Done. Of making it, I would like to see that. Make that happen. They might, they might do. I think if I think if anything, you're going to see Cincy. But, Cincy's going to get the um the whatever the Fiesta Bowl equivalent is because now the playoffs they're the, starting to move all the, the bowl games. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Brian Kelly, Notre Dame head coach, said earlier in the week he is not sure if his team would play if the if families are not allowed if the families are not allowed to be in attendance. He's not sure about that. I, I think I think that's just you know. I, I, I'm not sure about that, but like if they were not the play, because the way it's looking like if Clemson beats, okay. if, if Clemson you, beats Notre Dame, right, 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 right. Nate, 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 question for you. Yeah. Assuming Notre Dame wins, so they're 11 and 0, win the ACC, mm-hmm. but they decide not to play due to the fact that there will not be families in attendance. Which is not going to happen. That's which not going to happen. Which is probably not going to happen. But but just a. This is the whole. Let's let's they, play the let's at, play the game. CJ, CJ, CJ. If they're in the two spot, they're going to be playing at um. It, it's not the Rose Bowl. They're playing at the. I think it's the Cotton Bowl. Cotton Bowls allow fan in attendance. Rose Bowl is not allowing fans in attendance this year. So that's okay. it. Wait, like okay. The Rose CJ. Bowl's the, is the Rose Bowl the the, the two three or the the, the Rose Bowl's the one four. Rose one, Bowl. Four. Okay. CJ, you you've thrown out all these scenarios, right? What do you honestly think is going to happen though? What do who, I honestly think is going to happen? Who are, who are your uh, four that yeah. Alabama, at the moment, it's Alabama, Ohio State, A&M, and whoever wins the ACC. In that order, or are you just saying? No, just just four, because okay. I think Notre, okay. Notre Dame is going to beat Clemson. Though, you yeah. know, this is, it's essentially a coin flip last time, and this time, you know, anything. You know, I'll also point out one thing. One thing that I, <laughs> I'm really against the committee here. I don't know why Florida only dropped to seven. It shows six there, but in reality, it's seven. After losing to LSU, I don't know how they only dropped to seven. And then and I don't know how you. And then I don't know how you dropped the. Uh, uh, why did Cincinnati go down from seven to eight? And then I was yeah. no, no, pr- no. It's no, it's because the committee is looking at their schedule and going. They the all all the ranked teams they have faced at the time, SMU, and Houston, not ranked, multiple, and I think three losses. Uh, eight no against a garbage schedule. That's not going to probably get them. Right, in. CJ, 
CJ, glad to see that we're taking in the strength strength of schedule into account because otherwise all your because with that all your scenarios are basically dude, this done. is the whole what happens not strength <laughs> thought, dude. If you look at it, uh, since he needed SMU and Tulsa and uh, Houston to pretty much compete, then at least you could make the case. But this is the whole Georgia's seven and two and not playing. Florida's going to be most likely eight and three. I think if Cincy goes nine and zero, you're gonna you would take a nine and zero Cincy over an eight and three and a seven and two, and then it's basically I, do you take them over a And M? I would do that too. I agree with you. I think I'll let the record speak for itself. Honestly, I want to see some something we've never seen before, but the committee's just never gonna agree. I, to I would that. love to see that, but it's the college football yeah. playoff committee. This is a, this is the committee that put in. Um, I can't remember who over U, uh, UCF and UCF had some good wins that season. I mean, some, some, Oh, college. that year they put in, um, was it Georgia that they put in Georgia? They put in Georgia. Yeah. They put in Bama over UCF because, because they had, because they had Georgia at three because they won the SEC championship. And then they yeah. put in Bama at four because Bama lost the SEC championship but still made the plus. Was that, yeah, the, but it's like, which is fair. Cause it's a one loss Bama team. Yeah. So, which, which everybody kind of knows. It's like you're going to take – essentially, you're taking two SEC teams for the most part unless that SEC team has three losses. Okay, so two I losses, guess – you can, you can kind of make a case. Let's kind of wrap this up here on a, on a good note. <laughs> Four teams we haven't making in. Who is it? Bama, Ohio State, ACC, and then I'd say A&M probably gets in. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's going to be, and that's the, that type of scenario that you're saying that here, you're saying that Notre Dame beats Clemson. Yeah. Okay. So I disagree with you. I think Clemson beats Notre Dame. I'm taking, I'm taking the top four as it is switch around, uh, Clemson and Notre Dame. I'm, I'm saying Alabama one, Clemson two, Notre Dame three, Ohio state four, which means as Nate just said, Clemson wins a close one at Notre Dame later today. Yeah. And one note on Texas A&M, they did have a, I don't know if it's a convincing win, but it's good. I mean, 34 to 10. So I'm not sure if that's enough for them to be like a huge victory. It was or 34, 13 now. So. And then plus, plus like this is a team that, you know, looked very spotty against some. It, it only, like, OSU has season, been has one, had the least convincing week, week one, thing we could, they week, could have had. Week week one of the of the SEC season, they beat Vanderbilt by five, and then you lose to Bama by thirty. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm 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 with you guys. I'm I'm doing four. So we have, you know, obviously the order will will be what it is. And now let's get to who's gonna win it all. Alabama plays against Ohio State. Notre Dame against Clemson. Or if it stays as is, obviously CJ, you predict Ohio State out. Texas a and in, but again, does it really matter because you're playing yeah. Alabama? Yeah, Alabama's going to win that like nine times out of ten. You're given save it. So are, so we, are we all time. taking Alabama all the way or are we doing uh, – yeah, I think – here, here's the thing. If this was a regular season, maybe I would be taking Ohio State just because um, uh, it, it, if they, they they probably were to turn a lot of players to opt out this season. And mind you, Ohio State had a ton of opt-outs uh, on that defense especially. So – yeah, I'm, I'm taking I'm taking I'm taking Bama all the way. I think they're gonna dominate Ohio State in the semifinals, and then they're gonna dominate. I think I think it's not even gonna be close against Clemson. I'm gonna I'm gonna agree they dominate Ohio State. I think I think Clemson can run with them for a bit, but but I think I I'm, I don't think I don't think they're gonna stomp them. I, I, I've, I been, I've been I've been watching. I, I I think Clemson hangs around for a bit, but Alabama will. We'll probably force get get a get a two three possession. Win. I've been watching college. I've been watching college football for all my life, and which basically means I've watched Bama dominate all my my life. And honestly, this might be one of, if not the best Alabama teams I've seen. Nick Saban field. The defense is extremely good. This is one of the best defenses I've seen in field. And honestly, this the, their offense might be the most dynamic. I know you know Mac Jones is not the household name that Tua was or Jalen Hurts was. But he's quietly having he's quietly leading the odds for Heisman Trophy, and then True. the guy who's in second place for the Heisman Trophy odds is his receiver Devontae Smith. Add in Najee Harris, who's been consistently one of the best backs the last couple of years. Obviously, you got that signature Bama offensive line, and you know you still got um, a ton of really good receivers. They always have a deep receiver room, right? Because it's Bama. 
this is this is probably the best team I've seen Nick Nick Saban field. In CJ, so. how do you feel about that? Honestly, fine. A uh, little bit of an update, by the way. Uh, Iowa State has just made a game of it against Oklahoma. Oh, okay. So then that definitely makes things interesting. Oh, before. changes everything in the college football playoffs. Oh, uh, Iowa State makes it a single possession game. <laughs> So uh, they have five minutes uh, left, and obviously Ohio State has gotten the ball back against Northwestern up six. So I'm with you guys, Alabama, all the way. Uh, I'm hoping that we have some drama because that'd be fun. I'm hoping my prediction is wrong, uh, but I don't think I don't think it's likely. I, I'm with you, CJ. I would honestly want Cincinnati or Coastal Carolina to get in, but. Again, does it really Not matter because you're playing what? Alabama? It's been like three years, three or four years since Bama last left the Natty. Devontae Smith caught the game-winning touchdown in the first in the in his in the when he was a freshman against Georgia, right? We all remember that game. Mm-hmm. And now here he is again, best receiver in college football, gonna win the Blintikoff, could potentially be the first receiver to win the Heisman trophy in this century. I mean, you got a lot. You I I I'm I'm kind of I'm kinda of happy bit happy to see Bama back on top as a clear favorite to win the national championship I'm also happy to see Notre Dame I think they Brian Kelly's nah, I'm not <laughs> I mean well you're a Stanford guy <laughs> yeah. and you're a USC guy you should hate Notre Dame as well so well in my defense I still haven't been to, to a USC yeah. football game yet but that's a, <laughs> that's another story all right um so there it is that's our talk about CFE playoff rankings we'll have a decision coming up soon New Year's Bowl uh CJ like you said Hoping for an upset. I'm hoping for one, but I don't not, think not likely. likely at this not likely at this point. Give me we'll Florida beat Bama. Get, <laughs> I, I, I want to see Kyle Trask win a Heisman. <laughs> I'll still I'll still say this. Special thanks to thanks to CJ for all the scenarios, even though they were shot down pretty quickly by our Nate there, but it's all good. Uh that does it for our show here. T- uh take care, stay safe. Hope you have a great holidays with your family. For Sine Sangani, Kieran Costa, Nate Martin, CJ Rulo. This is Sports Sit Down, signing out.